This is Minecraft's first ever bridger who started bridging around 10 years ago and is actually the inventor of the ninja bridge. This here is Ninja Penguin 5 and he is responsible for creating the bridging method that is known by millions of players around the world. With the help of my friend Dribbly, I was able to track down Ninja Penguin and get an interview with him to understand exactly where all of this bridging stuff began. And later in the video I even had Ninja Penguin 1v1 against Dugile in a bridging race to see if the very first Minecraft bridger can hold his own against the current world record holder, so make sure you stick around if you want to see that. But how exactly did we track down the first ever bridger in the first place? It started off as a completely unrelated mission between me and Dribbly to try and find the guy who invented speed bridging. After a little bit of research, both of us seemed to come up with the same name, Ninja Penguin 5. This was about the extent that I researched, but after that, Dribbly took it a step farther and decided to research and look through old forum pages and a bunch of stats for the old overcast network that Ninja Penguin was known to play on. On his profile, Dribbly found a linked YouTube channel that at first seemed completely unrelated, but after asking in the comments if he had any connection to the username, it was clear to Dribbly that he had finally found Ninja Penguin 5. At this point, we managed to get his Discord and interview him in a Discord group chat with him and a bunch of his old friends from way back around 10 years ago. All of them were super super friendly and useful in terms of telling us how exactly ninja bridging came to be. At this point Dribbly decided to make his YouTube video with all of the information, but I wasn't quite satisfied with just text messages and I kind of forgot about the project as a whole. That was until about two months later when I decided to reach out to Ninja Penguin to see if he would actually be interested in a live interview where he explained everything in depth and in a lot more detail than he had over messages. To my actual shock he responded very quickly saying he'd be absolutely down for an interview, and here's how it went. You know, I'll just come clean. I was not the guy who invented it. <laughs> what? Pause. Now this was a bit of a curveball because we had thought that Ninja Penguin 5 was the actual inventor of the speed bridge, but it turns out that the base concept was made by his friend, Tropical Crayon. But to understand exactly why I ended up with the name Ninja Bridging, let's get back to the interview. Now, I know it kind of <laughs> has, like, my name. Like, it's obviously called Speed Bridging, but I think the large... Like, a big yeah, yeah, reason yeah. why it was called Ninja Bridging is just because I I guess you could say popularized it on OCN way back, like 10 years ago. Because my big thing at the time was just completing the objective of whatever map as quickly as possible. And so if speed's the name, then, you know, you're going to be bridging in these creative ways to get, you know, going as quickly as you can. And so the guy who originally came up with it, his name was Tropical Crown. From my interactions with Tropical, it seems that he believed that the first iteration of speed bridging was actually a form of spam clicking and shifting up and down randomly. Our first variant was actually the staircase. The reason that we went with the staircase was because in PvP, a lot of the time, if you're bridging straight across, it's really easy for people to shoot you. And if you get shot, a lot of times you fall off. But the staircase version actually gives you a lot of height, makes it harder for people to hit you. And if you get hit, you can sometimes just alter your trajectory to land back on the staircase. Yeah, so Crown came up with it, but he wasn't good at it right away. I kind of picked it up a little bit faster. And so I would do it in like tournaments that were live streamed and people kind of just saw me do it and they attached my name to it instead of him. And then, you know, the flat version would just be popularized later just because it was a little bit easier. All right, so I guess one more question is what exactly do you think about like all the modern bridging strategies and just like how far it's come in general? It blew my mind, dude. When I saw the first like, what is it, speed telling? Yeah. That blew my mind. That was like <laughs> unheard of. 10 years ago, you know, if you could speed bridge, you were a god. Like now I feel like speed bridging is the standard. It's like, that's like level one and you guys are on like level 100. So <laughs> I love it. I, I'm really, really impressed for sure. I was just gonna say, I'm like excited to like see what you guys can do like further. And after hearing how long it'd been since Ninja Penguin had played, I was really curious to see if he would still be able to pull off the Ninja Bridge. And the big reason I wasn't sure if he'd be able to do it is because at the time that he quit, this was literally the best possible bridging method out there. And this would be pretty similar to asking a Tele Bridger 10 years from now if they're still able to do it. But Ninja Penguin surpassed all my expectations. I literally haven't done this in a decade. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, ah, okay, oh. okay. I can do it really slow. I can do like a safe speed bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that's not even that slow. slow. That's actually pretty fast. Okay, okay. Wait, I gotta go okay. up. I gotta Wait, go gotta up. Go, go, go. Let's go. <laughs> now, I know it's a bit unfair to take the best player in the entire world and have him go up against a guy who literally hasn't played competitively in probably six to ten years. But on the other hand of things, it's pretty funny, so I did it anyway. Yeah, because I was just, I was talking to Mr. Ninja Penguin over here. He said he wanted to race you. <laughs> really? I think it'd be funny. I think this will be a fair fight. I think you guys are pretty, pretty Yeah, even very match. fair. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, GG, four Yo. seconds. Oh, oh, turns with the ah! jump. Yo! Okay. From what I've heard, I would still consider Ninja Penguin to be the first ever Minecraft Bridger, as I consider that title to be for someone who actually mastered a strategy, which it sounds like his friend Tropical Crayon took a little bit longer in pulling off. 
And of course that's no hate to Tropical, of course he played a huge role in this whole journey, and without him all of this advanced bridging stuff we do nowadays would probably never have existed. And speaking of things that don't exist, I still don't have YouTube rank on Hypixel and we are getting so so close to 30k, so if you did enjoy the video and would like to help out, it would be so so appreciated if you subscribe down below. But with that being said, that is the story of Minecraft's very first bridger, so I really do hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.